It is December 18th, which means this could very well be the last broadcast ever of Hug Nation. It's been a sweet planet, but every good party has its end time. Unless you get one of those invites that say like, 8 o'clock till question mark, because who knows? It's a qu I don't know. It could, it's a question mark. But unfortunately, the Mayans have let us know that there is a, you know, you can't, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here for the Earth. And unfortunately, since we did not arrange for a ride ahead of time, and our space program is not far enough along, we are here for the duration. So we've got this uh, whole apocalypse thing coming on Friday. I'll tell you what, I'm okay with that. In the last few weeks, and I'm trying to get back on track, but I've, I've, I keep getting sucked into pretty deep, dark, conspiracy theory type stuff about all of the ills of our, of our culture. It started with watching a movie called um, Surviving Progress. It's on Netflix. <sighs> that is really hard to watch and not feel like, how do we get out of this this progress trap is what he calls it, one of the, the speakers in the film, that there's some progress that is actually, you know, helps you, and then there's some that's a progress trap that feels like it's progress, but it's actually leading to a bad place. The example he gave was when early hunters figured out that they could work together and, like, chase animals off a cliff, they could then kill multiple animals at a time and increase their, their, the, the efforts of their labor, and that was progress. But then they started chasing off like whole herds and way more than they could use and decimating these populations. That's a progress trap. Feels like progress, not really helpful in the long run. And he was saying that in the last uh, 30 years, this planet has, has gone through a shift in the way that we use resources. And that there was a time when we were living off the interest, basically. You know, the planet produces a certain amount of, you know, new fish, a certain amount of, of, of clean water, or, you know, or there's a certain amount of, of, of self-sustaining things, and we, or, or the, the amount of, of produce that can come up from the land, but without making the land, um, hurting the, 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 the fertility of the land. And we have now crossed that threshold. We are no longer living on our interest of the bounty of this planet, but instead we're eating into the cap, uh, the, the capital. The example he said was like, um, it, it would be like inheriting a bunch of money and then thinking you're rich. And so you, as you're spending, 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 you think, you know, but the, it, once you spend the, the inheritance, you're done. Now, if you, if you put that money in a bank and lived off the interest, you could just have that lifestyle forever. And that's a little bit of wisdom that has escaped us because of the ways that our culture is structured. And we have, um, we have oligarchies, small groups of people that are making incredibly powerful decisions about gaining power at the expense of the planet and, and many other people. So you can see why this concept and this trap has uh could 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 make me feel like there's an apocalypse coming come on i'm rooting for the apocalypse go 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 and i guess one of the luxuries i have of that attitude is because i have a very loose spiritual identification with this consciousness that i'm experiencing right now i I'm grateful for this experience, but I don't think this is the beginning or the end. And I don't think that this incarnation of the unfolding of the universe and the earth in this form is the only one. I believe in multiverses and I believe in that the consciousness that we are receiving and, and experiencing comes from a place outside of this realm. And this, this earth is a training ground, a, a classroom for this one consciousness, or maybe just a, a, a movie theater to experience entertainment. 
free will was what God gave people so that he could be entertained. Now, Alan Watts wouldn't say that because he thinks there is no separate, there's no God outside of us. This is, this is an experience you give to yourself. This is the God, we are each God, allowing ourselves, gifting ourselves amnesia from God consciousness so that we can be, oh no, what, is this ever going to work out? Now, of course, you know it's all one, it's all perfect, but you get to experience the, the adventure as a human. But this other person, I can't remember what perspective it was, but saying that, you know, that the, the choices that we get to make is what otherwise God would be so incredibly bored. And so the fact that our planet has traversed into this kind of sickness, we kind of have if, if this, we've got this progress virus that is now, it's kind of a cancer. And it's eating away at healthy parts of, of the biosphere. And it's, it's uh, we've got all sorts of damaged cells and we've got all sorts of, you know, it can be healed, but if, I kind of think of if there was an apocalypse, that would be Earth's version of chemotherapy. Like, oh my God, I've got this, I need something to boot the cancer out. Zzz. Let me take some, po poison it out. Ugh. Try to get myself back to healthy. What, there's going to be a consequence to the chemo. It's going to make me sick. It's going to make my hair th fall out. It's going to make the humans all die. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, yay, Mayan end of calendar. I actually don't believe that this date means anything. I, I'm not, a, I don't, doesn't resonate with me. I do believe that uh, we are in a time of quickening and in a time of, of rapid change and we are in a time of, of waking up. I don't know if it's to a speed or degree that can make a difference. I think that there will be some sort of catastrophic event that will be needed. I mean, look at the look at the horrible things that have happened in the last, you know, 15 years. Did any of them with enough to change like really change the way that our culture thinks about violence, about destroying the environment? Yeah, we're making slight changes. We're making yeah, it could yeah, okay. That's the pessimist to me. The optimist is saying, okay, let go of that. The reality is in this now moment, all of these stories about pollution and atrocities and horror, those are all stories. My reality involves beautiful, amazing people, artists, creativity, lovers of life and spreaders of light. And as I encounter more and more of these people, and I meet more and more and more people, the number of people, one of the gifts of being in my position, of, of, of making these broadcasts for you know, over a decade, and of writing things about, you know, I'm not like the most evolved you know, person. I don't, I don't have crystals that speak to me. I don't, you know, sun gaze, and I don't, my pineal gland doesn't you know, transmit things to me. But I, I, I'm awake enough that I can be a bridge and I think I can I can show people that are just becoming aware like wait a minute this this menu that I was given this isn't this isn't our only choices there's a bunch of other stuff look at the pink haired guy he's ordering off the menu and then I can be a good bridge to kind of help people get to the, their next stages of questioning awakening open-heartedness finding their true selves finding out who they are so that they can then play their role in the grand healing, the grand unfolding. Um, and so in that sense, it's all perfect and beautiful and working out great. And you're a part of it. Sweet. So apocalypse, no apocalypse. Apocalypse actually means renew, uh, awakening, so yes, we are having an apocalypse whether we like it or not. It's happening now, whether you like it or not. What's going to happen this Friday? I think people are going to cork, uncork a lot of really nice wines. People are going to make love like crazy. And we will wake up with another reminder to be present, to be grateful, to open our hearts and be as loving as possible.
You only live once. Enjoy the color.